Hello guys, this is Vinod from Mind Magics, and I welcome you all to this special session in which our trainer will explain everything you need to know about the Alteryx. Before beginning the session, we request you to watch the previous parts of the covered series. Check the link in the caption. In this video, let us look at the topics we will cover. We shall start with data types and continue with string data type numeric data boolean data spatial objects please check the caption to jump between the topics if you are new to the mind magics channel please subscribe and press the bell icon to get quick updates about the new tech tutorials free webinars and career enhancing shorts from working professionals like and share the video with your friends and Alteryx career aspirants. Without any further delay, let's start the video. Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna cover what all data types are being supported by Alteryx. So as you all know that Alteryx support most of the data type. And if we talk about the most common data type are string data, the numeric data. You can see on this link, the string data, the numeric data, daytime data, the spatial object. I will go in depth of each and every data type. First of all, Alteryx uh, processes the value that is being inputted using the input tool as numeric, date, time, boolean, and spatial object by itself. We need not to convert those into the relative data type. It will take by itself. And uh, one more question also arises that if one data type is imported wrong, can we change the data type? Yes, obviously you can change the data type. You can change the data type by using any of the select tool, append fill tool and a uh, tool which, which is having a select functionality. The select functionality is available in 90% of the tool and I will show you how to change the data type of data type of a field. So what, what is a string data type? First of all, the string data type is just a combination of the alphanumeric data. It can be a1234, a underscore 234, a underscore 125. It can be any representation of the character. So in Alteryx, how do we perceive them? There are four different data types, string, w string, v string, and v w string. Now relatively, I will explain you each and every string type. First of all, a string, the type string is having a fixed length. It doesn't vary according to the situation. It has only the fixed length. The maximum capacity is 819 to characters. Now W string. W string means the wide string. It can accept any string and its length is not varying but the only difference between W string and string is W string can import the Unicode characters. So if your column has Unicode characters then it will be taken as W string. Now V underscore string that is variable length. So any string that is having a variable length like let's suppose uh, if we talk about address. Sometimes the address is of 25 characters. Sometimes it is of 100 and sometimes it is of 250 characters. So what you will do? You will use the V string. But ideally we should use V underscore W string because your address can have alphanumeric character, uh, Unicode character. So VW string is variable wide length string. Uh, string. Variable wide length string means it can be of variable length. It can accept the Unicode characters. Most of the time we will be using the V string only. Now let us talk about the numeric data. Your numeric data can be of four or five different types. The first type of data can be integer data type. The second is decimal, the third is floats and the fourth one is double. I will show you each and every data type. Now in most of the programming languages we know that the byte contains 0 to 255. So it is a unit of 8 binary digits. The byte is unit of 8 binary digits like let's suppose your age. Your age can be of byte. It can range from 0 to 255 hypothetically speaking. So it can be of uh, byte data type. Now we talk about the integer data type. So let's suppose uh, your your cell. Your cell is most of uh, most of it is in round figures. So cell can be your integer. It can range from minus 3 to 762 to 3 to 767. 2 raised to the power 15. It can range between 8 and 16. In 32, again we can take the example of cell B. It range from minus 2 billion to plus 2 billion. Similarly, in 64 it is 2 raised to the power 63. So these all are three different position uh, of integer depending upon the power. Now we talk about the fixed decimal. Now if you 
talk about the interest it can be of decimal type because it can be 1.25 11.25 something like this anything that is having decimal places is treated as fixed decimal in the altex verb we'll talk about the float float basically uses the four byte structure and it can represent value from minus 3.4 to 10 raised to the power 39 38 with seven digit of precision so there is no much difference between float and decimal both can take the decimal point but the precision in float is maximum up to seven so that's all about the integer data type okay we'll talk about the double data type mostly the fixed decimal the double the float all are decimal but depending upon the precision they are being segregated now let us come to the date time data in the date time data we have three different type of uh, interpretation what should i say i say so we are having the date data type we are having date time data type we are having only time data type as it is quite evident from the name the date contains only the date the date time can contain the date and time also with the precision till seconds and the time contain only the time part it is quite clear from its name itself the conversion of the date time can also be done by using the different tools that i gonna explain you in the further video so uh, boolean data boolean data is only having two possible values that is true or false it is mostly used to uh, in the conditional expression to test the uh, true and false values now uh, coming to the speciality of altrix altrix has special objects too what is a special object your home could be a special object that is a point if we talk about the earth atmosphere earth hemisphere your uh, home is just a point if we talk about the road from your home to your office it is somewhere around 10 to 12 kilometer that could be a polyline or polygon so we are having three type of special object the line the point and polygon polygon mostly covers the area data type the line cover path from one to another point and the point is just the latitude and longitude coordinate so this is all about the data types of all tricks in the next video we will cover where we can see these kind of data type and how we can change them